Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. The webcam, the live webcam for Old Faithful is down. It's been down since Thursday. Um, but we do have still images of um, Old Faithful. And it's been dirty. I've been watching what's going on here. It's been dirty. That magnitude 6.1 earthquake that occurred there along the Mariana Islands, which I reported last. Um, yeah, it shook up Yellowstone Caldera. You can see the image refreshes every so many minutes. Someone built a little snowman or some sort here at Yellowstone, it looks like. Yeah, they might not have uh, the live webcam up until sometime next week. Here we have an in, uh, entrance view. I believe this is the north entrance. Yeah, there's traffic coming in. Here you can see on the world Helia plots. Yeah, that earthquake, which was about 114 miles in depth. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. Yeah, it made the earth ring. Look at that. Yeah, it's the bottom one here. Yeah, this is uh, the Philippines. Um, yeah, this is the Mariana Islands. Let me go to that signature. And we'll go back and look at the other ones. Yeah, it shook up Yellowstone. Yep, yeah, this here is um, Solomon Islands. It took probably about 12 minutes for the signature to show up there at Yellowstone. Um, this one here on the left is the borehole, borehole 950, um, Moose Creek, Idaho. Yeah, not surprised uh, because that's the area when it did its counter uh, clockwise rotation of unzipping multiple eruptions. Yeah, it started up over in that area. Okay, and this is Denny Creek. See the seismic signature there. And this one here is Mary Lake. Yeah, uh, Moose Creek, Idaho, really significant. Let me make that one larger. Look at that. Look at the heat that came up right there. Yeah, didn't take long. You can see the toxic gases and the heated water that came up. Again, this is Moose Creek, Idaho. Volcanic tremors. This means that magma is rising. Yeah, look at that. Up and down, wavy lines. There was one earthquake before this that USGS is not reporting. At 7.48 a.m. Uh, local time there. Look at the heat. How could they miss it? Well, I guess if the camera's d down and not being fixed, or they can't figure out uh, where they need to try and reset it from. They already tried to reset it there at the hotel where the camera's at. Um, maybe it needs to be done in the main office and no one is home. This was a moderate earthquake, a magnitude 3.0. Remember when they used to say when they started having twos that they would get worried? Well, we're starting to see more and more magnitude threes, aren't we? The one on the left, once again, is the borehole, borehole 950. This one here is Moose Creek, Idaho, Denny Creek. Yeah, brought up some heated uh, water, it looks like. And then Mary Lake. Look at the signature at Mary Lake. Wow. Again, this was before the earthquake that they had there uh, along the Mariana Islands. This one here is the Mariana Islands. And this one is there at the park. Yeah, lots of hot gases and heat. There is some fault movement in there. But again, volcanic tremors. You know, one day they are going to have a large earthquake somewhere in the world. Or even there at Yellowstone. That's going to trigger an eruption. I noticed too. Um, let me go here. Let's go to the spectrogram. Yeah, there's been an increase in, um, yeah, the rising of the magma there. Again, this is Mary Lake. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files. But more significantly, what popped out for me to see was this activity at Denny Creek. 
yeah, let me pull this down for you. Right there, we got a fault that opened up. You can see it, plain as day. You know, we did have one, two, three lines of melt. And then this opened up, um, 1840, 1148 a.m. today. Yeah, we got a, I wonder if I can see anything. Yeah, see how the signature went from drum beats uh, to the sawtooth. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It just, let me go back to the spectrogram. Yeah, so this is a definite thickening. Uh, yeah, we got magma coming in. Look at that. And then this is what it was showing at the end when I pulled the file. See the gushing coming up? Yeah, not good. Not good. I believe it's the book called Cataclysm. It's a really good book about um, how those there at USGS just have a sleeping view of keeping track of what's going on at Yellowstone. Yeah, Cataclysm by uh, Jim Washburn, I believe it was. Um, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if, yeah, one day when Yellowstone does decide to go off, um, it does it on the weekend. What do we got here? Got some more gushing. You can see, I don't know if you got a larger screen. You can see the different points where the magma and the hot water comes up. Yeah, again, this is uh, Denny Creek. Yeah, see that? Boom, boom, boom. You think we have problems now with the cold and power outages? Well, when Yellowstone goes off, yeah, we'll be in a global um, cold spell for many, many years. Crops won't grow. Power outages. Yep, it will be devastating when it finally decides to go off. This here is the borehole for Yellowstone. Uh, I, no, excuse me. For the Norris Geyser Basin. This is a very deep well. And we got popping. You can see the popping uh, that was going on when I pulled the files. I'm trying to find out what line this is on. Yeah. Lots of popping. And see, it's a borehole, so it only picks up what's under the ground. What's going on? under the ground it will not pick up lightning strikes it will not pick up snowmobiles stampeding tourists or buffalo and things like that there is a lot of popping going on if i can find the right line i'll show you the signature okay so we'll just go to the signature of them all see and this is all harmonic tremors being picked up at the bore Oh, okay, let me bring this down. Yep. Yeah. Okay, where's this one at? Is it there? Or there? Sometimes it's hard. There it is. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to find out. Um, yeah, and this is the Norris Geyser Brason. Um, yeah, so it's this earthquake is probably up in that area. I've talked about how to tell the direction. If the majority of the signature, the first wave of it, pointing down that means it came from the south of the um, borehole if it's pointing up that means it came from the north yeah there is so much popping going on that the monitor there is picking up look at that yeah look how dirty that steam is it's coming up from old faithful that's because as the rock that's down under the ground there um, gets heated up because of this magma rising up. It's melting the rock and it's rising up with that steam. Yeah. This here is the monitor for Moose Creek, Idaho. I just wanted to take a look at some of it. Yeah, see that? Lots of them marked in red, which means that the computer picked up the earthquake. Those who are not working today were sent a text message. Look at that one. Um, saying, hey, an earthquake occurred. Check it out. And they're supposed to uh, review it. Um, but, you know, it's the weekend. And, yeah, they might rather just do whatever. Yeah, maybe they're in an area where they have no power. I don't know. But there should be more than one person um, that has access to these um, 
data. I mean, if I got the data, I'm sure they got the data. Look at that, and this is what it was showing when I pulled the files just a little while ago. Look at the heat. Again, this is Moose Creek, Idaho. Now, Mary Lake, for some reason, when they have earthquakes, it really sloshes around. You get good signatures of the um, lava, magma, under the ground. This one, yeah, see, it's a mix of um, the ground popping and volcanic tremors for that one. Let's take a look at that one. Okay, and this is all before that 6.1. Okay, these are all before the 6.1. Okay, let's pull that one. Now that's all fault movement. And um, that's a mix. Fault movement and um, volcanic tremors. Yep, yep. All you can do is be prepared. Might get some of those books I was talking about yesterday to prepare for um, extreme events or um, yeah, power outages have an alternative source for power and heat, especially heat. I guess about 50 people have died across the country from these storms. Um, probably a lot of car accidents and things like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's terrible. You know, that's another good reason to be a prepper. Unless you have to go to work, you know, stay off the roads, don't travel. You know, you got all your food and medicine and everything you could possibly need already stocked up ahead of time. Just take the time and spend it with the family. Waiting for Old Faithful to go off, it looks like. They're having a little bit of a warm spell. It's about 33 degrees. You can kind of see one of the other geysers. Over here behind, between the two trees. All right, there it is. Yeah, I was hoping to catch it going off while I was making this video. But anyways, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. A little concerning about the magma that's coming up. Always be prepared. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.